Hey guys, and welcome to Resident Evil 2 Kill Everything Run, Claire's Ace Scenario. Uh, I did Leon's Ace Scenario a couple of years ago, so I figured it'd be high in time to you know, I'll do her scenario. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm going through the entire game and uh, killing every enemy uh, that I possibly can. Now, uh, I'm playing this on the GameCube and such. Um, now, in this run, I can't remember how it is with Leon, but... Um, I tried to take advantage of trying not to use as much handgun ammo um, as I did because there isn't, I mean, there is ammo. There's a lot of handgun ammo on the way to the police station, but there is almost not enough to kill every single zombie. Now, that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, it is a bit of a slow burn, so I do apologize for that. Um, essentially, what I'm trying to do is just corral them all, hit them with the knife, Basically, not even use the handgun um, as sparingly as possible. Now, I don't want to get myself caught in the corner over here. Um, I do pretty well. It does take a bit of time, though, because the knife is shit in this game. So, there may be... And I'm also kind of recording this in post, just so I can focus more on the game when I'm actually playing it. So, that being said, I'm really hoping that... Because um, I've already recorded, like three episodes of this already so essentially what you're going to want to do if this is a challenge that you want to you know partake in yourself partake yourself is you basically kind of just you want to corral them try to get behind them and don't get cornered run through like that and just you just want to essentially just stab and back up now i decided i pretty i'm pretty sure i didn't use any handgun at all for this i might have done one or two you know hot shots just to maybe kill them off, but it's not. Um, also, there's probably going to be parts where I'm probably just going to go through and probably not talk a bit. Just let the game do its business, because, you know, you kind of run out of things to talk about um, and post about it. So, yeah, this area is going to take a bit of time to do. Now, I wanted to do this, I thought about doing this all in one video, but, I mean, playing the game on a speed run itself is like an hour plus. I can only imagine how long it's going to be when I'm actually taking the time, like right now, and stopping and you know, stabbing zombies in the kneecaps. So, but I mean, I do get this done. It, it, it's as long as you don't get too ballsy, because like you can get maybe three hits in if you're lucky, um, and while they're down. Now, there's going to be a few times where I'm going to make some mistakes. See, they do that. Now, that. That it's kind of a good thing that they do that. I mean, you might get a little bit of damage from doing that. You will. Um, but it's, you know, kicking their head off a lot faster than you know, stabbing them in the freaking in the knee. Now, stabbing them in the legs downwards is the best thing to do because it's going to, you know, they're going to drop them pretty quickly. But unfortunately, it may drop them, but it's just going to get them back up again and again and again. Now, I'm not sure if the ones that are on Foxy, like things like that happen. Now, I'm not sure if the ones that are on fire are more, you know, easy to kill because they are damaged, but I'm not sure. So now we've got, got like four of the twins over here, or four of the quadruplets, rather. And I think these are last four. Now, what I've done in each room is, and especially in a room with a lot of people like this, um, I go around and make sure that I... Um, you know, I put up my weapon if it auto-targets to something, because I do have auto-aim on. This is where I take a couple of hits, just trying to take them down. You know, just to get a, get their health down a lot um, quicker. And see, they do that again. And that's fine. I ended I ended up on uh, Orange Caution at the very end, because I'm going all the way to the police station in this episode, so... Yeah. And... I, don't, I like doing different challenges in Resident Evil. You know, a lot of people like to do speedruns, and I can speedrun, you know, games, but I'm not, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm probably never going to get some type of record for sorts. I mean, I do get, I have some personal bests and whatnot, but there's, you know, I'm just not that kind of guy, talented-wise. Now, I do like to do different things with Resident Evil. I did the game, I beat Leon's A scenario with one hand. Uh, I beat Leon's A scenario killed everything. Now, I know, um, I'm reading back in the comments, I was kind of reviewing the old footage, and uh, people were saying a couple of things, which uh, made sense. I did miss some handgun ammo uh, in the first one, which I'm going to get. And also, I know 
There's the two zombies that are in the door when you're down in the bottom when you grab the um, the valve handle, which it'll be just where the bow gun is at. I'm pretty sure we're uh, that, yeah the valve gun or the yeah the, where the valve handle is at. There's two zombies if you open up the door. Oh, and I killed those zombies. Um, there's two there, and then when you the areas where the shutters are at, the zombies burst in there um, as well. I will be killing them in this run, uh, so don't worry. Now, there's a couple areas where I won't be able to kill anything. Um, for instance, um, after you go right into the main gate of the police station, there's all the... Even if I kill every zombie out in the area where the um, fire truck is and all that, which I do do, um, they, they're still there, and there's no way you can actually cut them through the... Uh, cut them through the... Through the fence, sorry. Getting mesmerized here now. More often than not, and I kind of fucked myself doing this, is I can, you know, once they burst in, you can grab the shotgun if you're Leon or the crossbow if you're Claire pretty quickly sometimes without even getting nabbed. Now, this is by no means any type of speed run. Um, I'm not trying to really go for rank either. Um, I know I'm obsessed with this game. I'm not trying to go by for rank either. Uh, so, because I do end up using some first aid sprays, because I'll tell you what. Finding enough ammo to down everything and not have to resort to using the knife, because I don't really use the knife much after I'm in the police station, just because a knife's really not going to be well against a horde of zombies in a narrow hallway, or against the liquor, or, you know, anything like that. Um, but, I'm hoping that, you know, I might have to use it again in, in the, you know, in the future. Now let's see what I'm doing here. So that area wasn't pretty hard. I did get, I didn't get grabbed, but other than you know the first initial part. So now these fellas out here. Now for some reason, I thought that's where the other handgun ammo. Was. I didn't know the handgun ammo. You know I played this game for about 20 years, however long it's been out. I didn't know there was extra handgun ammo. It's not anywhere near here. So if you see me like searching around some garbage cans and such and looking for something that's not there, it's because well it's not there. Now, I don't want to use all of my ammo, and I end up, I, I get pretty down to the nub, uh, to the point where I have no ammo at the very end, and I have to kill the last couple of zombies with just a knife. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Now, you know, I would go through and cut the parts and whatnot, but I want you guys to get the full experience of, you know, everything that's going on. Yeah, I decided to use the crossbow there. Um, the only thing I don't like about this crossbow, I mean, I like it. It's stronger than the one that's in Code Veronica, but it goes through ammo like a motherfucker. So, like, it shoots three at a time. Whereas the one from Code Veronica, it shoots one at a time. But the only caveat of that is the one that shoots ones in, in, in Code Veronica, it's not as strong. And you could pin... Well, you can't really pin them, but you can go through... If you've got multiple zombies right next to you, you can go through and, you know, nail them couple of them if, you know, if they're in a line. Which is good. Now this guy, well, I killed them all. Yeah, I thought it was these trash cans too. It's not. Quit trying. Yeah, they're right here. Now, this next part, uh, this next part um, is going to take a bit of time. Now, from where I'm standing, I'm at the very back part of the tr of the dumpster. Um, they do try to uh, vomit on you, but as long as you don't move forward and you just keep doing it, I th um, you won't get hit. I, I didn't get hit here. And it's kind of funny because if you hit them enough times, they do the whole falling forward thing like they... Um, Try to grab at your ankles, but your ankles aren't there. So, um, yeah, so this, this is going to take a bit of time. Normally, this would be something I would cut out, but let's just uh, observe the fighting. Let's see here. Alex, what's it say? Alex and Toll? Alex something. 
on that wall back there. And see, I've gotten all their attention now. See how he fell forward in that one? He was, uh... I didn't realize they wore rectangle shoes, by the way. Yeah, it's a slow burn, but trust me, if I go to head and use all the ammo right now, um, I'm gonna be fucked before I even get to the police station and try- and I've been experimenting. This is like the third or fourth time I have gone through, uh, to this part. And I kind of experimented, cause, I mean, it's, it's not perfect. I probably could go through and do it a little bit better at some point, but, you know, I didn't. They are not anywhere near dead, unfortunately. Yeah, I decided to just use the last couple of bullets just to peg those guys down. I believe there's one more guy that's down. Oh, no, you know, I actually got them all. So that wasn't too long of a, of, you know, a process, but it was a process, unfortunately. Now, these guys, never fought them before in my life. Till now. Now, I believe, I can't remember if I actually do it, but I believe I might actually get onto the train um, and grab the, uh, or not the train, sorry, the bus and grab the handgun ammo, but I don't think I do. And lucky he did that. Saved me some ammo. See, now I'm on orange caution. Now at this point, and this has happened, and this happened the last three or four times that I actually played, um, if I get the danger, I can't go any further because there's no way I'm going to be able to limp, I don't, all the way to the police station. I have 13 shots in my gun right now, plus the six I have in the bow gun, and then I'm getting more uh, ammo here. And then I've got six or seven zombies to face the next one. Now, you know, luckily I'm able to do it, but I, what inspired me to actually start doing runs like this is, um, funnily enough, um, another YouTuber, his name is, um, Many a True Nerd, I don't know if you've ever watched him, but he did a pretty, a Kill Everything and Code, or not Code Ground, geez, um, Fallout New Vegas, and he did Fallout 3, and I thought, hey, that's cool, what would be a game that I'm really good at, or decently good at, that I could do that in? So I thought to myself, hey, I'll go ahead and do it in this game. Because you can kill everything. Um, there's not many things I can't kill. Now, in the beginning, yeah, it's hard. But once I get further on in the game, it gets a little easier just because of the amount of ammo you collect. And it's funny, if you're just playing this game normal and you're not trying to kill everything, by the end of the game, you can pretty much retire your handgun as much handgun ammo as you pick up. And your shotgun has like 60 some rounds in it. You've got all this stuff, but... It, uh, it gets a little hard. But, you know, it, I like a challenge in that sense. Okay, that fellow is dead. It's eerie how kind of dark it is behind there. You never really realize that. I really, really, really hope they do a good job when they remake the game. Uh, I mean, I don't really... There's not really been any update on it recently, other than it's in production. But Capcom, this is your like one chance to redeem yourself seven i'll give up I'll, I'll give it i'll give you that seven was pretty good in its own type of game it wasn't a it was a resident evil game but it wasn't a resident evil game there was no reoccurring characters other than spoiler alert if you've never played the game stop listening to this now chris redfield at the very end which he looked really fucking weird other than that not even resident evil in a sense it was kind of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets Deliverance type of situation. Um, and it was good. I mean, I'm, I'm still playing it on my channel. It's definitely cool. And, it, it, you know, I'm glad they actually brought back enemies and such. And I I, and I like I, I like everything they're doing. The, no, no complaints uh, whatsoever. Um, the way, if you've ever noticed how Resident Evil games are, is in, in th the way they do the games in threes, uh, main tiles, number tiles, rather. Okay, let's let's take well maybe even fours. One, two, and three were like this. 
fixed camera angles, you know, pre-rendered backgrounds, which I know you can't do that in new games. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but, you know, why waste the technology? Um, I killed him. Yep, he's dead. Um, yeah, uh, I did it. Um, but yeah, 1, 2, and 3 were like this. 4, 5, and 6 were pretty much the same. You know, camera over the shoulder, third person view, um, no real zombies, other than, you know, 6 had zombies, of course, but, um, it was more of an action-y, well, four, yeah, it was more of like an action-y thing, like 4, you know, was kind of an adventure, but it wasn't like this. Oh, I, I also tried to kill, um, I also tried to kill them, but like I said, you can't. Now, the zombies that are in the courtyard over here, I will go back and kill them, um, at the start of the next episode. I don't want you guys thinking I'm gonna forget them. Uh, I just don't have ammo, and I don't want to waste another 10 minutes trying to kill them with a knife. I'm on caution, which means, that, or orange caution, so that means if I get bit one more time. I also was trying to see, you can sometimes, if you go over to there and you get the right angle, you can actually see from a weird angle there, from like outside the police station, as you would in uh, Resident Evil uh, 3 Nemesis. But, uh, yeah. Now, I'm trying to remember everything else I did. Um, I don't think I do anything else for this video. Uh, I'm fairly sure. Oh, and I'm sorry if I'm skipping the cutscenes, but if you're like me and you've played Resident Evil 2 more times than you can count, thank God for the GameCube version, or in the PC version rather, too, as well. Um, you can skip the cutscenes, because if I have to hear uh, Marvin Brano, Will Smith zombie, aptly named, talk about survivors and all that and all the other stuff, it just kind of, it kind of grates. It really, really does, unfortunately, so... Uh, yeah. So like I was saying about the Resident Evil games, 4, 5, and 6 are kind of like the same in that type of sense. Kind of an action Michael Bay style. Uh, and 7 is don't think so. I'm hoping 8 isn't going to be first person, even though it'd be kind of creepy to have it. They, the way, you know, I, I should probably make a, it's a separate video on that. But the way that, um, actually, you know what? No, I don't, I believe I don't even end the game. Oh wait, I go out and kill these guys first. Just to help you guys, um, before I end the video. But, um. The way Resident Evil 2 should be made is simple. Make it just like how you made Remake. You know, updated graphics, new areas in the game, maybe new enemies, you know. I like the addition of the, you know, Crimson Heads in the remake of the game and such. Maybe do some backstory on Ada a little more. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's so many things you could do with it. So much potential. Uh... Because, I mean, that game, this game's like 20 years old. So they, you know, really need to do something. I mean, if they remade all the main titles, and I, and I know that, like, remakes, like especially with movies, like, they've, they're remaking so many movies, it seems like there's no original ideas out. But with how dated this game is, and, I mean, it's aged beautifully. It's still a wonderful game that if you've never played a scary game in your life and you play this, even though the graphics are a little pixelated and, and such, it can still scare the shit out of you if you've never played it. There's still... Sometimes, if I'm not paying attention, parts where you're not even thinking about, especially in the B scenarios, I, I I've played the A scenarios more times than I can count. I played the B scenarios a few times, but you know they're more harder to do stuff with. But yeah, well I kill those zombies. But yeah, Resident Evil 2 should definitely do those things. And you know what? You know they, you know they they've got their own creative genius and they can do it the way they want. But it's just one Resident Evil lover expressing his opinions on how it should go. But, uh, yeah, that wraps up this episode of Resident Evil 2 Kill Everything Run, uh, Claire's A scenario. And if you like the videos I do, make sure you click the subscribe button you see on the screen and the videos you see as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.